Hello everybody and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use Bongo video conferencing. This video system will be used in some of your classes and so this is a quick tutorial on how to navigate through it as well as to find some additional resources to help you out. The first thing you need to do is log into your uWaterloo Learn account. If you're having trouble logging into your Learn account, please check out our video on that topic. From the home page, you will want to navigate to the course for which you will use Bongo. So in this case, I'm going to go up to the multi-navigation tab and I'm going to click on this course. From your course homepage, you will want to click on connect and go down to virtual classroom. If this is the first time that you're launching Bongo, you'll need to click on launch Bongo. If you're using a browser other than Chrome, Firefox, or Edge, the Chromium version, you will receive this pop-up. We recommend that you do use one of those browsers for the best experience. All right, so this is the screen you'll see if there are no meetings available. Once your professor schedules a meeting, this is what the screen will look like. As you can see here, there are a bunch of test meetings. All you need to do to enter the meeting is click the button on the right. You'll be prompted with this quick tip screen. Here you can look over some of the various features as well as the system requirements. Please make sure that you're using a browser that is acceptable for the performance requirements. When you're ready, all you need to do is click the button at the bottom. When you enter the meeting room, you will be prompted with the audio options so you can just listen or you can join with your microphone. For your classes, please join with your microphone. You'll be prompted to the audio test and when you can hear the echo, click yes. And this is what the main video conferencing screen looks like. As you can see, it's quite simple with only a few buttons at the bottom. The first are the audio options for muting and unmuting your microphone. Next is leaving the call audio altogether. And if you accidentally click that button, just click it back again. You'll be prompted with the echo test and you can go through that. Finally is sharing your webcam. All you need to do is click on the webcam icon and you're ready to go. In some instances, the professor will enable drawing controls. You can find those drawing controls on the right hand side. This is useful for drawing on the actual slides themselves. In some other instances, there might be a poll option. So your professor may ask you a question in which you need to respond by clicking on the poll options. On the left hand side of your screen, you can also see options for chatting, both the private and the public chats. You may be using those throughout your classroom session. Okay, let's check out some resources offered by Bongo to help you become accustomed to this video platform. So from this main screen, you can go over to the three dots, click on that, and go to help. This will open up a brand new tab. And as you can see down here, there are various options for supplemental learning. The main interface that you will be using is the virtual classroom that we just discussed. But if you need some more tips and tricks, you can click on this tile here and you will see everything you need to know about all the various features within that virtual classroom. So whether you just want some practice or you're unsure about a certain feature, this is the best place to find your answers. Moving back, some of the other elements that you'll be using are the learner's video assignments. So this is find out how to complete video assignments and other user information. So as you can see, there's a lot on here to go through and we recommend you just take 
an afternoon or so and go through all these articles so you can see how to use all the features. Lastly, if you're having any technical problems, you may wish to navigate to the requirements and troubleshooting guide. Here you can see all the basic requirements as well as some best practices, device compatibility, browser compatibility, and some other common troubleshooting solutions. Okay, and that's it. That's everything you need to know for Bongo. If you have any other questions, please feel free to email us. Thank you.